Hello again everybody, my name is Joe, I am back to talk about another topic for this video. As you can imagine, college is going to be very different from your high school experience, and that's for a number of different reasons. But a main reason is because of the study. Um, in college, you are your own independent student, and with independence comes a lot of good things and a lot of uh, new challenges. Nobody's really there to tell you what to study, when to study, or how to study. And that's a huge part of succeeding in college, is figuring out how to study. Really, it helps to try things out and figure out what works best for you in order to absorb material. In this video, I'm going to be answering three common questions that you might have in regards to how to study. Um, so these questions are, how do you take notes? What are study groups and why should you be a part of one? And then, what are some other tips and tricks? All in all, just keep in mind that it can take time and practice to figure out how to study successfully. You may need to experiment several different methods to see what works best for you first. Starting from the first question, how do you take notes? Let's start from the beginning and talk about taking notes, uh, writing or typing out your notes in class. There was a 2014 study by Pam A. Mueller of Princeton University and Daniel M. Oppenheimer of UCLA that showed that uh, students retain information better if they write out their notes by hand. So that's something that you can consider. Personally, I type out most of my notes in class, um, some of them, you know, but other times I'll write out by hand. But afterwards, I try to make an effort to rewrite these notes in the form of a study guide or flashcards. Basically, my method for uh, like learning lengthy material is to write it out, uh, then rewrite in a different way, then rewrite in a different way until it sticks in my brain. It's important to know that this doesn't work for all classes. For a math class, I would not be doing this. I would be doing like practice problems, right? But for each new class, you do need, you need to figure out what will work best. It can be tricky, but just know that the more effort you put in at the beginning, the easier things are in the end. The other side of note taking is taking notes on written material, right? So taking notes on your textbooks or whatever. Depending on what you're studying, college can be a lot of reading. Um, and you have plenty of options for taking notes on written material, you know, creating outlines or study guides. In college, also because you end up buying a lot of your own textbooks, uh, you also have the option of marking up your own books, you know, highlighting or writing in them, which a lot of students do find helpful. So buying your own books can come in handy sometimes. The next question is, what is a study group and why should you be a part of one? Well, um, a personal tip that I like to tell other people, you know, is find a study buddy in classes or get into a study group. Um, studying in groups can help a lot for some classes because you're able to put your brains together to figure things out. It makes it easier to have someone to compare notes with. Also, personal advice is make friends in your class, folks. Some people don't want to talk to people in any of their classes for some reason, but if you find a study buddy to sit with, during lectures, it makes going to class a lot more fun and it actually holds you accountable for going to lecture because you don't want to just leave your study buddy hanging, you know, you have to go to lecture to actually see them. Sometimes, however, you need to study alone. You need your alone time to be able to really focus and get work done. You not want to find the right balance for you between spending time in a group versus spending time alone. Budget your time, figure out what works best for you, and really try to see what method you prefer. Lastly, what are some tips and tricks? One thing you might not have thought about being important is choosing where to study. You have a lot of options, you have like the library, your dorm room, student centers or cafes or whatever, um, but once again, where, where you choose to study, try to figure out what works best for you. I personally like studying in different places all the time just to like shake things up a bit, make it more exciting, so, but you might find a place that you really like to study at. So Another thing is when should you study? Um, the short answer is not the night before the exam. This may have worked in high school, but in college your grade will probably be based on a limited amount of exams or papers, so uh, cramming for a midterm is very risky if the midterm counts for half your grade, right? I suggest spacing out your studying and keep up with the material being taught. That way you will be more familiar with the information for a longer period of time and then that way you don't have to like be scrambling as much come midterm season or final week. So it just makes things easier on yourself. And the last thing I have to say is to be forgiving with yourself and your expectations due to the transition. 
okay, what worked in high school might not work in college. Figuring out how to study is a challenge for a lot of people. You might not knock it out of the park during your first quarter or semester, uh, but if you work hard, you will be better prepared knowing what works in the future. It does take time and effort, uh, but you can figure it out. Alright, thank you so much for watching, I hope that helped.